afternoon friends welcome to concepts of geology online classes in the last class we have entered to the domain of economic geology and throughout the entire session we will learn that branch specially ore geology in detail i refer to the last class where i explained the modules which we are going to study in this session let's start the first module introduction in this class we will cover the first two bullets uh, economic geology versus ore geology that is the definition part and the definition of industrial minerals ore gang by product etc etc so let's start the first module we have already learned that economic geology is the branch of geology where we study rocks and minerals of economic interest fine economic geology now today i have just said that we will discuss economic geology specially ore geology in detail the first confusion of the subject may starts from here what is the difference between ore geology and economic geology okay so the first bullet was ore geology versus economic geology fine what are the differences i know we very often use these terms just interchangeably like synonyms as in our school days we have read that ores are economic minerals fine economic minerals so from there we have a intuition that ore geology and economic geology they are same but they are not in ore geology we are dealing with only metallic minerals metals only okay their origin their appearance their exploration their identification etc fine and in economic geology we are dealing with metals as well as non metals here we are dealing with metalliferous deposits as well as non metalliferous deposits okay their identification exploration uh, their origin and of course their economics so we can say that ore geology is a branch of economic geology okay in the entire course we are going to discuss the broader topic that is the economic geology but with a special concentration in metallic deposits that is the ore geology fine i think no confusion should exist uh, today onwards okay now whatever we read economic geology or ore geology first we need a clear concept of what an ore actually is fine the simplest answer to that question is ore is a mineral form which we extract metal fine ore is a mineral from which we are getting metal or a group of metals in that case the mineral will be called as the ore of that particular metal or the particular group of metals okay so as far as it is a mineral then it should obey the conventional properties of minerals okay what are those firstly a mineral should naturally occurring naturally occurring fine second property is it should be inorganic thirdly it should be a solid substance fourth one is a mineral should have a definite chemical composition chemical composition okay and the last one the number fifth is it should have a definite atomic structure okay any amorphous substance cannot be a mineral so at the beginning it is very clear that suppose oil coal or suppose limestone or suppose uh, fire clay 
this type of substances they are economic commodities and naturally occurring also these are not qualifying the basic definition of mineral so they are not ore fine now question may arise here that what are they what are they any naturally occurring substances of some economic value exclusive of metallic ores fuels and gemstone mind it exclusive of metallic ores fuels and gemstone they will be referred as industrial minerals industrial minerals good so if i uh, exclude oil and coal from the list we will have a list of industrial minerals okay so suppose uh, rock such as uh, limestone granite or suppose material like sand gravel or um, a kaolinite barite fluorite this kind of materials will be called industrial minerals fine okay very good but if i write the definition of ore up to this this is not only incomplete but also this is wrong okay what we are missing we are missing the way in which we are processing the mineral and extracting the metal that should be a profit making in the current techno economic condition of the nation so here a new word is coming techno economic condition let me explain that we all know that we are getting iron from hematite fine hematite is the ore of iron okay but the laterite that is the red soil or rock which we are uh, getting in the surface that is also enough enriched in iron that is why it is that much of reddish even you do not believe uh, many countries import laterite but we are using this laterite as just road material why because we do not know the technology by which we can extract the iron from laterite in an economic that means a profit making way economic way okay so in the definition of ore we are getting one thing that the way by which we are extracting the metal from that mineral that should be profit making that should be economic okay the same is true for aluminium also the ore of aluminium is bauxite but you know the felsic rocks or suppose the mud which is available in the surface that is also enough enriched in aluminium but we do not know the technology by which we can extract that aluminium from the felsic rock or from the mud so those are not qualifying as the ore of aluminium and we are searching for bauxite which is found in top of hills in harsh condition as an ore of aluminium fine so in the definition of ore we are getting two factors firstly the economic factor second one is technical factor the technical factor include the processes from mining to the extraction of metal in between we have suppose crushing of the material processing of the mineral or suppose smelting etc etc fine so now if you are following me with concentration you may anticipate that in future if we can invent technologies or if the economic condition of the nation changed or suppose some social need occurs like in wear condition that may force us to extract iron from laterite and then we may have the profit so in that condition laterite or suppose the mud may be treated as an ore okay what we need all we need is the profit fine so let us conclude the definition of ore up to that this is okay ore is a mineral from which we extract metal in a profit making way in the current techno economic and social condition 
of the nation fine so this is the complete definition of or now let's move to the next point okay to get an ore we need to mine it where we get a concentration of ore in nature we call it as ore body fine it is what concentrated ore in nature okay but in the nature most of the minerals occur as intergrown in rock ores are also minerals so they are also intergrown in rock when we are doing mining we are normally mining the rock which is enriched in the ore mineral that is called the host rock host rock this is enriched in ore mineral okay when we are doing mining we are extracting we are excavating the host rock first then we are processing that rock we are crushing this rock and we are separating the ore from the waste material from the other minerals which are intergrown with that ore mineral so those minerals which are intergrown with ore mineral but do not have the uh, economic value they are called gang minerals fine so they are intergrown uneconomic minerals okay suppose i am providing an example suppose in a singham copper belt we are excavating a metamorphic schistose rock okay and then we are separating the chalcopyrite as an ore of copper from that rock so the other minerals present in the rock those will be treated as gang mineral or waste and the chalcopyrite will be treated as the ore of the copper fine now eventually some gang minerals also may be economic again in that case they will be called as by product what are they they are economic gang okay now here keep in mind that by product always increases the potentiality the profitability of an ore deposit fine very good here one thing should be clear that in case of native ore native ore native ore they are called pure ore also in case of native ore okay for example suppose gold there is also gang minerals associated with them okay they are called pure ores but that doesn't mean that there will be no gang we may find gold as a native mineral in quartz veins in that case we need to liberate the gold from the quartz so quartz will be the gang and the gold will be the ore so native ore means in the atomic structure of the ore mineral the proportion the concentration of metal is very very high okay concentration of metal is very high okay so that's why they are called pure they are called native but that doesn't mean they will not contain any gang fine now to the last discussion for today the proto ore proto ore what is this proto ore is a concentration of ore minerals in nature which is not economic in current techno economic social condition of the nation but from our geological knowledge we know that the natural agencies suppose like water wind sunlight etc they will make it economic in near future so proto ore is not economic today but will be in near future fine for example suppose if we have a hill made up of felsic rock in a 
uh, humid climate where continuous weathering and leaching is going on it may form bauxite deposit in future so that hill or the felsic rock will be treated as proto ore okay so the first day is over here by i am stopping here in the first class we have read the definition of ore industrial mineral host rock gang by product native ore proto ore etc etc from the next class onward these definitions will help us a lot okay i think you are not that much of bore that you are going to skip the next video in the next class i will discuss the factors which make an mineral deposits to be potential for mining okay please subscribe and share the channel please follow me if you have any suggestions or advice please feel free to write me okay thank you for watching